Yo, what up? Welcome back. This is Tap to Tap to Tap. Tap, tap in. in. And as you already know, I'm your host, Faith Up Sam, and I'm here chilling with the homie and the girls. To my left is my boy. What's up? This is your humble host, JD. How y'all doing? Hey, Hello. this is your girl, Marjorie, the big M. Not, Not the, the little, little one. one. Hey, everybody. And my name is Ivania Evie. Just Evie. Just Evie. Just Plain and simple, up. right? Very Let's much. Go. Well, if you've been, you know, following us, like we've been talking a lot about relationships, uh-huh. friendships, yes. marriage, yeah. engagement. Uh, we got into a little thing about, you know, sex a little bit, but we're not touching that right now. That's for it later not on. Yet. It wasn't All a right, topic. Not yet. Not not yet. yet. <laughs> yeah, it almost got out of hand, right? It should have got out of hand. <laughs> almost did. Yeah, but uh, today I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited because we have two special guests with us today. Yes, most um, definitely. How do you guys feel about, you know, bringing on, you know, a new face? Excited. Really? Yeah. It's good because we get to hear like from a different perspective. Yeah. Because I've been sitting with you guys for about way too a long. <laughs> yeah, tired way of us already. No, wow. that's not what I'm trying to say. Wow. <laughs> that's what she said. But you know, okay. we got a new face. We have people like different perspective. I don't have to hear JD on me Ooh. talking right. about something. Uh, else. What J- she got against JD? <laughs> JD, she said she's friend. tired of hearing you, bro. <laughs> and I'm humble. Wow. Right. <laughs> you know. I'm putting you to the test. Right. Really. Or Big M with those, you know, off-topic things that she be yeah, doing. Yeah, I want to see if, I get, if they're coming over to this side. Since she was a little bit lost last. <laughs> right. We're not she talking about that. She We're not. No. <laughs> Which way? She already there. She yeah. Knows, she's acting like she won't be there. I just want to see. Yo, I'm really looking forward to this. Like, yeah. I learned something. You know what I mean? When we're discussing, like, uh, um, you know, uh, dating and courtship. and courtship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I learned a lot. And I, I believe, you know, I hope you did, too. You know, as you guys were watching us. Right. Um, and, you know, we're just going to bring this thing together. Yeah. Yes, right? I'm ready. Look yeah. forward to it. I think it's going to be really a, a good episode. Exciting. Look let's go. Let's go. Well, I'm not sure if you're ready, but we're ready. Y'all ready? We are. We're ready. 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 All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and just <laughs> tap, 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 tap in. in. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back, y'all. Um, yeah, we back. Uh, don't be spooked. You see a little switch, woo, you know, but uh, we have our guests here. Come on, give it up for the guests real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, ha- I have the neighbors over, man. And um, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys the introduce neighbor. yourselves to the public real quick. Uh, I'm Eddie. I'm the neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor's wife. <laughs> the neighbor's wife. That should be a movie. The neighbor, the neighbor's <laughs> wife. <laughs> All right. It's exciting to I'm excited to have you guys over. How do you guys feel about being on the okay. podcast for the first time? Um, definitely grateful to be a guest. Uh, excited to to see where uh, our conversation takes us. Let's go. Let's go. So these are not new conversations to us, right? Because we often, you know, meet up in the front yard. Right. And uh, we have many discussions. Right. Yeah. And I, I do like to pick your brains because there's a lot of things that we say that are similar. Right. As much as there's a lot of things that we say that are different. Yeah. Right. So uh, for the past couple of uh, episodes, we've been discussing like uh, dating and marriage yes. and relationships in general. Uh, we gotten into divorce. Right. We got into um uh, uh, you know, like a, a, a sex within, you know, dating and everything else. And I know for every culture is different, right? For everybody is different. So I want to get your perspective on what do you guys think about dating when you hear dating and courting? Like, what do you guys think about that? And is there like a difference <clears throat> between the two? When we say dating and courtship? I mean, I think in my culture, I'm Cuban. And for the last, I would say, 30 years or so, mm-hmm. we don't, we barely date or okay. we barely culture. Okay. So what do you guys do? So we kind of like, if we like each other, yeah. we start like dating and that's it. We go straight forward. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Straight so forward. straightforward, meaning that you go skip, skip, like getting to know the person. Yeah. You, you just know, you start know them as soon as like. I'm into you. We meet each other. You. I like you. You like me. Let's go. Yeah, and things get pretty serious as long as you want to meet my parents. That's why. Oh. Yeah, your relationship officially start. Like Once. if you take them to your house, that's that's when that's you start. Done. 
Yeah, I think it's the same in our cultures, right? Because, you know, once you meet a Haitian parent, like, it's done deal. Like, you know, it's serious. I mean, there's a little difference because we have to do it, you know, in secret. You start talking to the person. Right, because, after. you know, your parents will whoop the crap out of you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's the only difference. But that that's good to know. Um, so when you guys first met, like, how long did it take you guys to know that this is the one for me? Right. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, it's funny that she mentions the, the dating part right away. Right. So the way we started, mm -hmm. there was courtship. Right, mm. um, but was, we were in distance. We well, were in I know, but the, 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 the when we started and we met, yeah, I think courtship is important because it allows for the build up. You're getting Ooh, to know nice. somebody, but it's through conversation and, and it it allows for the build up. That way, you take that next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for us, um, I would say the courtship was maybe shortened because she was leaving back to Cuba. She was visiting her sister when I first mm -hmm. met her. Mm -hmm. So I would say we possibly maybe had, what, seven days? Five days. Five, seven days. Yeah. And it was purely, you know, we were going out, but, you know, conversation. There was there was definitely a tension. Right. You know, mm -hmm. there was an attraction. Right. But uh, nothing was, you know, there was no kiss or anything. It was just, you know, Let's see, we see each other tomorrow right. until, you know, everything led up to that day, the day she was leaving, where, you know, we did kiss and we expressed how we felt each other a little bit more, which, mm -hmm. you know, segued into, you know, the dating uh, aspect of it, you know. Um, so, so it was a little bit different from what she, I mean, what she's saying, which is something maybe that happens in Cuba here. When we started, it was right. different, you know. It was correct, correct. Right? So you would say that when you first met her, right away you knew that you wanted to be with her or even marry her. There was there was definitely uh, that moment where you, bet he's laughing. you know <laughs> you see you see the connection, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, there was de there was an immediate uh, attraction, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and I know in the courtship. You know, she tells me, why didn't you kiss me, uh, you know, that uh, right, you away. Know, th right away, right? Mm. And I know that she wanted me to lean in, but mm. I, I, I definitely wanted it to build up because I didn't want it to be too soon. You yeah, know? He's, what he's called you. I got right? you. I, 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 got I guess you. you could say that there's that difference, right? The, um, you know you know what I like about it? It's the fact that with the new generation, we're thinking that when you meet somebody, you have to wait six months or three months, you know, mm -hmm. to like know if you want to be with the person. But to hear like it was five days. That's very... Hey, it was five right days because he waited five days. Because he, you see, he but waited. But to you, that's not what you wanted. Like you knew right away? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> see, that's different. So like when we talk about courting, right? Like we base it on religion, right? Our religion. We base it on faith, right? And um, last week when we were talking about it... Uh, JD, right, made a great point. And, you know, I, I, I was going back and forth with him. But, you know, when you reflect about it, I, I don't think there's any difference between how he was saying it and how I thought about it, right? It all depends on, you know, your perception of it, right? So it's good to hear that you guys feel like that. And to, to put the word courting in the beginning of that relationship is awesome to hear. So you knew right away that you wanted to be with her and she knew rather she knew, well she knew sooner she knew, that she wanted to yeah. be with you right that's pretty cool that's pretty cool you know so that's gonna bring the next question because you know how you said you feel like she wanted you to lean in right so the next thing we talk about was should we try it before you buy it i th i think uh i should i think you should try it before you buy it right because you're making that uh that commitment if you're taking that next step Right. Yeah. And what's the worst that can happen? That you don't like it? You, you know, you go separate ways. Mm. So, wait, you go separate ways because you don't like it? Yeah. Wait, are we, are we talking about the same thing or? <laughs> wait, wait, okay. So, when we said try it before you buy it, we're talking about sex. Yeah. yeah. Sex. Why dating? Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, now she's here. That's, what, that's yeah. exactly what I'm talking well, about. What we're talking about. Right. Uh, how, about, how about if there is a, you know, there is an we attraction, right? But there isn't that that element where you the where everything comes together. There is no chemistry. Yeah. You get me. And um, if in the beginning it's hard for it to to happen, then What's is the it point? is it worth pushing? Pursuing. Right. Pursuing. You get me. I think I think we you know, especially going into something long term. If you go into it uh, with uh, with like hidden hidden truths, right, where mm -hmm. you're not being honest about how you how you feel 
when you know when that's happening then it could just lead for for something later on uh, to happen you know okay so let me ask you if she said okay ed like i like you you like me and i, I want to be yours right and this one is a cutoff like i don't want to have sex before i marry you would you take that option like would you t still pursue her as a wife yeah if most she did that yeah. why, why would you do that though why so why would i do that yeah. um because there's something there right and and i guess it goes back to the beginning uh when i said uh, the build-up right so mm -hmm. the build-up could lead to uh, you know uh Lighting. to something right so it doesn't have it's not uh if it doesn't happen that it's you know the deal breaker right mm -hmm. um so the, i mean yeah it's not that you're not gonna wait but i guess we were both of us were kind of like leaning towards it like you need to try it before you buy it mm -hmm. yeah because then we he but was nothing, getting well, divorced. Nothing was planned, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he was it's getting divorced. Things. I was I was out of the relationship. I came right. here just for a week to visit my sister. So I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? I'm never gonna see him again. Right. Mm. You see, I think that that's so. That's the difference, right? Because when we were talking, like I said, like when I dated my wife, like we did ten years, ten years, because we got married after ten years of relationship, right? And our first time trying it was honeymoon. <laughs> Right. So to us, it was different, but I enjoyed everything else, you know, about her. And to say, like you, you said it, like it was more than that. So I think some people base, you know, getting married to somebody just for the simple fact that, oh, I like the way that they do this. Right. And it's always like that sexual part of the relationship is good. So I'll marry her. Right. But is that a determining factor, you know, for marriage, the sexual aspect of it? And question. In those 10 years, you guys thought about sex? Of course, like every day, sex. every day, <laughs> <laughs> every day. It's not that you don't, you don't think about it. Like it's, you, you know, I, 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 I'm a man, it? you're right. She's a woman, right? Like, but one of us was stronger than the other at times, right? Where I was weak, she was strong. And where she was strong, I was weak. Or did I just say the same thing backwards? <laughs> <laughs> I just did, right? <laughs> right. One of us was, was strong and, yeah. and what, where the other one was weak. So it was a lot of, you know, testing and tri trials but uh by the grace of god we we're able to overcome that so i know how difficult it was to hold out right so like and i that's that's why we said a different perspective right to you guys is it was part of forming a connection right right yeah and i mean for me all, all you got is now mm. so you live, don't know live for the moment so live in the moment, live in the moment. <laughs> Okay. Tomorrow's not promised. So, yeah. exactly. so last episode, so I was, I was having a hard time to, <laughs> to basically. Uh, but, uh, well, background, she's young, right? Um, you, you're not. I'm not putting her business out, but any, she's not dating. She, she's she's single. Okay, anybody's watching? Available. She's available. Single. 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 Available. Right. Yes, so too. now you could go. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I was having a hard time when I hear about try it before you buy it. So I was thinking like, if. If I'm going to wait till marriage and then to marry somebody and, you know, and on the day, it's not what I expected. And for me to leave, you know, I was, that's, that's where I was going. But then when you, when I hear you guys perspective on it and you're saying the way I see you guys going at it, but as a Christian, then I'm thinking how important sex is in a way Correct. and how like, you know, how we define sex. It's more than just pleasure. It's about you and your partner being one. It's like the connection that you will have with your partner. So I was thinking, like, who does, like, when you say try it before you buy it, who does it benefit more, me as a female or the man? Because if I go and I try it with the first guy, it doesn't work. It's like, okay, I was given the moment, so next. And I go to the next one. It still don't work. And I found a third one. I'm like, okay, so the third one, I like it. So now I want to marry, be with this person. So it's three guy, you know, how do you call it now? Body count. Yes. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm at three, and it's just like. What will you count it? Oh, the why does it doesn't matter well the thing is let's be honest because when you when you become one based on the bible right <laughs> if it's coming for me she's she coming me. for you she's getting when ready you, <laughs> when you read in the bible and it talks about sex you see like it's two people where well, i haven't do nothing yet you hear that mom no i haven't <laughs> so you guys that probably experience it yeah and probably know more about it than me but when i read about it in the bible it's two people that come one 
you know, and there's more into it. There's more than just pleasure. And you have mm -hmm. a part of that person in you. So imagine you have three, because I feel like, especially with women, we're very emotional. Mm -hmm. So once we have sex with somebody, I'm pretty much sure that people, you know, you probably will remember and there's a connection that's still there. There is more into like, not just the body, but spiritually you are connected with this person. So now for me to marry someone and then when I am in that relationship and I already have three guys that I already tried it with, before you buy it. You know what I mean? Okay, and what do you think about a mother who have more than one kid? You think that she doesn't love both of them? Well, you're talking about kids. It's different though. You you share, at least how I see it, you share yes. a moment with someone and you're going to keep the good. You know, the, the bad thing, you, you leave it in the you past. You leave it in the past. Mm -hmm. You learn from them or you leave it in the past. You just move on. You gain experience and now... At least how I see it from now on, you know what you like, you know what you don't like, you know what you can tolerate, you know what you're not gonna tolerate, you know things that you're comfortable with, things that you see as probably something that you will do forever or something that no, 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 no. And you then, don't enjoy it. like, I, like right there. I mean, that I, you just see it and you're like, <coughs> being there, doing that. I'm not doing you're that. You're not doing that. Right. I mean, I see where you're coming from. I feel like now I'm like, I am strongly know where I stand as like, I will not try it before you buy it because to me, I feel like that one experience, whether it's good or bad, I want to have it with one person and I will take the good because I'm going to live the rest of my life with one person, you know, because there's no divorce, there's nothing, it's just me and that person. If it's good or bad, we can always learn because I feel like, to me, I feel like search is a, you know, you can learn, you learn from it. If you don't like it, you communicate because I'm pretty much sure when you guys talk about relationship, the foundation of your people's relationship, it's communication. So if we can communicate like, I don't like it like that, is a way we can fix it. So I would probably want to be with one person because I feel like as a woman, trying it before you buy it does not benefit me. So, well, it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I guess this is what I would say, right? So I, first, I think the first time for a man and the first time for a woman is completely different. different. Of course. Okay. Um, and, and then secondly, um, when, when you're saying about, uh, and I'm losing a train of thought here, but basically, basically it, the, the, definitely the experience, the experience is different for, mm -hmm. for, for, for one and the other. And then, okay, now I'm coming back to it. So you're with that one person that first time, right? How honest are you going to be? Let's say, so let's say for, let's say for, for the man, for me, it was amazing. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing me like, you know, you just see me in, uh, in this, you know, and, and, you know, in my moment. Right. And here you are thinking this was horrible. How honest are you going to be in that moment? Very honest. <laughs> <laughs> right. So? And, but, 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 so I'm then, saying, and how are you going to know if you haven't tried it? How do you know something's good, 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 that good if you haven't tried it before? It's, it's like a baby. How does a baby know when to stand up and walk until you try it? They don't it know. Out? They fall. Yes, but then when you stand up, that's I'm, I'm going to take that extreme experience. They don't know. My they learn. Like, I know where you're coming from. Because I have seen the baby learn how to walk. So right. it's not that they, all they of a sudden crawl. they just, they crawl. They have to build up the muscle to, you know, being able to stand up. After they stand up, they have to walk. So how do you know what do you like in that moment? How do you know who you truly are if you're not mature in that in that Sense. aspect and I feel like because you know what makes you feel good mm -hmm. it doesn't, it does, it's not that you don't like it because you never had nothing to compare it to it's very it, different it didn't make you feel good no 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 I, no. I it's very like different it. for I your first time at least for me for the, my first time you mature especially if you're with people that makes you grow completely different experiences yeah yeah but I understand both sides Right, like let's get it, let's get it straight. No, no, I, are, I, I see you guys and I hear you right. like, damn. But oh, then that's, I, not, I, your, that's not your experience. <laughs> no, 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 no. I go back and I'm like, probably if I would have stayed with the same guy, mm -hmm. I would not grow into the person that I'm today. I wouldn't be that free. I wouldn't be that open. I would not even know myself. I, I could understand that. I could understand that. And th there's many things that comes to you know with it. Um, probably, I think yeah, probably, for example, my dad is divorced. So I have seen that you can actually l love more than one people in different levels. Mm. You know? So, yeah. I don't know. No, so you, you are right. Because when we think about it, like, sex is a big part of any relationship, right? In whatever level. Um, for us, it's a faith-based, right? Um, uh, option that, not option, 
decision that we mm-hmm. make we made right um what makes you guys brave as you, not brave but like <laughs> yeah of just, course was, you guys are committed it was a struggle but you guys are committed to that of course that makes you brave of course just me the thought about it and i'm like what like just the, you would be never afraid, do that. be afraid of what if is not what i want how am i gonna know i i, I will be scared right you know especially if you want to spend honestly your the rest, rest of your, your life, your life, your life with that person spend. like is it gonna be that i'm gonna be working all the time on that or is it gonna just flow exactly i think it works for both it works for both like i cannot you know i said i cannot knock this this part because i mean that's 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 your that's your nature right in general like we we crave this thing right like we're created for this like anybody that says otherwise like something's wrong with you like when when you know a man see a woman the first thing they look at it's not your personality like stop lying to these women like it's your body right and once we see the body then you know we we Okay, like <laughs> she look good. I'm not saying your 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 face have to look good for whoever it is that beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I I know that, right? But we look at the body first, and and when we look at it, we don't look at the body to say that. Oh man, I would like to marry that body. You know, like the sexual part of it is a big deal, and I think the restriction is, like I said before, is from our faith, right? We know that. Okay, the Bible says you know, to, to, to hold yourself for your husband, right. And hold yourself for your, for your wife. So we live based on that, but not every Christian live based on that. There's Christians that, you know, have had sex before marriage, right. And their marriage is still flurring. Right. So, um, yes, at that time when they did it based on their faith, it was a sin, right. God forgiven. And, you know, they were able to move on with their lives. Right. And for somebody that does not have the faith, um, aspect of it like you believe that yo in order for me to have this connection with this person like i need to to experience this with them right if i don't like it then i'll move on if i if i do like it then we move mm-hmm. forward so in moving forward right what made you believe that event was the one for you to get into the engagement part of your relationship for me it got harder the drop off at the airport, the leaving okay? part. It, as as mm-hmm. as our come on, y'all, y'all could y'all could do it. Y'all could, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> as the connection grew, it just it, right. you know, I felt a breakaway and I, it just didn't feel right. Wow. So um, I remember getting everything ready and and then flying to Cuba, and she she obviously didn't know this was gonna happen, you know, and um, you proposed, and I proposed. Wow. What? And, in April. Wow. No, you April. went February, because I come April. You come April, but oh, I, th- I think you it was went January a- and then February, and then I come April twelfth. Wow, yeah. you proposed in February. Yes. That that's pretty okay. So if you think love stories don't exist, kabam, <laughs> there it is. That's it does exist. Story. It's still happening, man. That's that's like that's 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 good to hear. Now you don't hear things like that, man. And no. people like waste. I, I, I'll say ways because when I went my wife, I was young, right? Like, we're in our teens. So I understand our 10 years. But Probably some people... That's why you don't see us the ways, though. Because you were in your teens. So, so you're teens. young. You're young. Yeah. And you're doing yeah. it out of yeah. love. Right. I got time. So we had time to grow. But the growth for you guys happened so quickly, right? Um, oh, but then you get those things that we got for ourselves actually in the relationship. Like, actually, I'm going to know who you are. I'm going to know how to live with you every day. Yeah. Actually in the relationship. That's pretty dope. So yeah. that that was a trial that you were willing to take on yeah. and you knew that, you know, she was the one, so you were willing to do the same. Yep. So I'll say this, right? So after hearing you to right, I think that there's there's a connection from what we look what we look at as faith, right? Because honestly, like me, I probably would not have been as strong as you believe to to do that that way. Why? Because I want to get stuck in my own mind and thinking that it may or may not work. So mm-hmm. like what I'm saying here, I think you guys you guys show a real example of faith. That that's true. Because that, you literally yes. did this not even knowing blindfolded which is what what faith is right right faith is 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 you know like you know have like 
the thing, believing in, in the thing yeah, that you I'm cannot not, see. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You were scared? No. Okay. Ooh. I'm like, what's yeah. the worst thing that can happen? I don't like that mindset. So, she leave on the edge, though. Like, don't, don't. <laughs> she <laughs> she like, leave on the, the edge. <laughs> what's the worst thing that can happen? That we don't get along, that. You move back to Cuba. That's it. Yeah. Right? Man, that she lives on the edge. So I wish that many Christians trusted God that way. Because, like, man, uh, we try to control, which is why they can with the whole let go and let God. Correct. We try to control what God's going to do because we want to be done. So if we're going, okay, God, I'm trusting you. What's going to happen? Whatever you do. I won't I'll, tr- I'll yeah. trust you. Well, yeah. Happened. You guys did this really on faith base, not not really trying to really put that as faith base. Not to say that you know. No, no, no. Wait, I get you. Right. That's that's what I'm seeing the connection there from. Like, from now. Just, yeah. No, whatever I mean, happens, gonna work out for me. Yeah. I was really happens. amazed because you know that's before. Dope. I mean, let me ask this question before we move any further. <laughs> like, do you guys have any kind of like uh, foundation, faith foundation? I mean, uh, I was Catholic. I would say that growing up, but I didn't do my communion because it was horrible for me. Like, stop. It was Saturday at 12 or 2 in the afternoon. Yeah. They're going to the church, and I, I would see, like, literally the kids <laughs> running outside the church, and I'm there after lunch. Wait. I was falling asleep. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do this no more. <laughs> and then I was brought up at the house that I used to, like my daycare. Mm-hmm. They were in African religion stuff. So for me, it's like, there's no good or bad. There's just people. Mm. There's That's just deep. people. So That's for me, deep. it's not like Christian or Catholic or whatever. It's good or they're better or supreme. Yeah. It's not the, for example, like more primitive type of religion is also. So we're just human. Yeah. You just need something to guide you through whatever you're going through. You know, and they, you have something to lean on, people that kind of like think like you. And you look down for that. So for me, it, it's not that I'm atheist, but it's, it's kind of like interesting. I'm intriguing to the whole thing, but I'm not like, I would say I'm not by the you, whole thing. You're not deep in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like with us, it's it's different, right? Because when it comes to me, right, like I, I'm a people person. Like I trust people until they they you know do me wrong. <laughs> like you, you see, what everybody, I mean? you got you gotta you gotta prove to me that you are that Worth person it. in order for me to be like, oh, okay, cool, like like we could hang, or oh shoot, like I'll stay away from you, right? So <laughs> like it's it's like giving the person the benefit of a doubt, mm-hmm. right, before you x them out. So, and that being said, it's like... So, we win you over? Yeah, definitely, man. Like, yeah, y'all my peoples, man. They're my neighbors, y'all. Like, we, we, we really do this. Like, you know, <laughs> we really do this. So, like, there there is good and evil in the world, right? We see it all around us, right? Um, for somebody to wake up and kill a child, right? A mother to kill a child. Like, you can't tell me that there's that's not evil, right? Yes. That That's evil. Uh, for a father to kill his wife and his son. That's evil. So there is a lot of evil in the world. And wherever there's darkness, there is also light, Light. right? So if evil exists, then yeah, like, you know, good exists as well. Um, And based on what we read in the Bible, based on what we believe, we know that no good comes from anybody but God, right? Because God is the only one that is like, you know, like he, he never changed. Right. So being that, like there's people that you will meet. There are the nicest people in the world that does not make them Christians. Right. And they're not Christians. Right. So as far as good people is concerned, uh, there are good people yeah. outside of Christianity, outside mm-hmm. of faith. Right. There are good people. Um, the question of souls now is different. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So this is where the line is drawn. But as far as is there good people in the world? Yeah, yeah. I believe 100 percent like there are good people in the world. Like, come on, I'm I'm a Christian and I don't give as much as a non-believer or unbeliever gives, you know, in the world. Right. You th- you talk about. Yeah. Well, they get tax write offs, but whatever. Right. But they still have to have the heart of giving. Right. <laughs> they could have done something else with the money. 
So yeah, I understand fully what you're saying, uh, and in that aspect, and yeah, I mean, I'll have to agree with that, right? Wait, so um, I wanted to ask because I know Sam's question was like, what is your guys' foundation in your marriage? So you're saying like, are you saying event for you? It was seeing the good side of Eddie that created that foundation, or that's the thing. I didn't even know if you were good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Until you t- taste it and see. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, like, I like how I feel. I, I like how I felt to be around him, with him. And it's like he was saying, he, he got to a point, like, I just want to hang out with him. So you, you know, base like everything on how you felt. How I felt, yeah. I, I, I didn't even have expectations, I think, in the beginning. Because, I don't know, I like how I was around him. Like, So you, you like the comfort that he was bringing you, sorry? Like the... Not even comfort. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's you were happy. You were in a good place. Like that, I, I think. It, I think it boils down to it. Just like it just ha- felt right. Yeah, you know right. I mean? It just felt right, and because he didn't have and there to. Was like, no, there was no effort. Um, you didn't have to that. force anything. Right. Yeah, it's right. not that I'm like he's nice with me and I'm nice with him. No. It's, so he had to be. He was himself is, around exactly, you, and you were and yourself around him. Yeah, it's not like I, I have don't. to prove him that I'm into him. Or he, he needs oh. to prove that he's all about me. Like, no. Right. And, I mean, so, some something, wow. uh, and I, I guess you could say that this was, uh, at least I consider it, uh, you know, our you know our wedding vows and stuff like that. So we both have tattooed, uh, no bullshit. You know. <laughs> I, have, I have clients that will ask me, what does that say? No, no bull? I mean, yeah, this is no bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, and... From from the beginning, and this is something we told each other, you know, that we weren't going to bullshit each other. You know, if, mm-hmm. um, you know, things did happen fast, right? And we, we said at that moment that if we needed to, you know, if we, did, if we stopped feeling the way that, uh, feel, you know, we gonna... felt that we were going to be honest with each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, we, you know, we weren't going to deal with, uh, you know, infidelity or, 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 stuff, or stuff like, like that, that because we were going to be honest with each other. Mm-hmm. You get me? And that's where, you know, this, this was like, you know, our thing, you know, and, and before when I would say, you know, I love you, I would, I'd go like this to her for, you know, no bullshit. You got me? That's, you know, <laughs> this is, you know, and that's something that, you know, we've had, um, from you know, the from beginning. the beginning. Okay. That's good. So you brought up a point that, that made me thought about something. Um, you said infidelity. Like, is divorce anywhere on your tables? It, so we have, we have, we started a family and, you know, everything changes. I will do, you know, you know, I love, I love this woman beside me. And I, and I definitely, if, if something isn't working out, I definitely want, you know, to talk about it as far as work things out. I don't, I, I don't want the, you know, the divorce. divorce. Uh, it's not in, I mean, it's not in my mind. It's not something I think about, but I definitely, you know, obviously it exists, right? Like you just said, we have good and evil. Mm-hmm. It's definitely something that, uh, you know, it's there in the media. It's always pushed. It's always mm-hmm. thrown out there. But, you know, I think, and from my perspective, if if two individuals, two strangers came together mm-hmm. and they fell in love, what's to say that if if we're if we're close to it, we're talking about divorce, what's to say that if we just try and, and, and we just, you know, come come back together and to finding each other, you know, like I, sometimes I'm like, how could just two individuals who started something that, uh, you know, was beautiful, how could they hate each other? Yeah. You know, and I think and I, and I think it's sometimes you just need to take that time and and come around to it you know right. life life is a circle correct you get me and correct. and and marriage is definitely you know it's a roller coaster you have highs sure you is. have lows and and life yeah. is like that correct you know correct. so um my thing is that if, if we if you if you if you if you put effort into anything and, and you try to you know if she's unhappy let me understand why you know yeah. maybe and we could work it out right you know yeah. but and it, it needs to be something that is you know, on both Neutral. sides, right? And and he's, I mean, are you honestly trying? Are you are you are you communicating to me? Um, you know, mar- marriage marriage is definitely something that you need to you need you need to you know put effort in uh, every day. Yeah, no, that's true. I have a do you do you because I I hear you said that um, about speaking a lot to to each other. Do you think that there's ever a point that um, two people that, that that love each other get to a point where 
you need to go to therapy. Not discrediting therapy, but I'm saying that do you think that there's a point where two oh, yeah. folks that started together, right? And all you gotta just really want to speak to each other, right? Do you think um, there's a point where you have to go to therapy now for a third person to tell you the same thing that y'all should, you know, talk about, but you don't want to hear from him or her, but from that person, it's, it's better. Do you think that, that it makes sense? So what I would say, so therapy... Um, you have to do the right one. Well, well, well one, I mean... There's def there's definitely uh, several uh, there's several therapists, therapists right? There's therapists mm -hmm. that it's about self growth, mm -hmm. and le le I mean, let's say I decide to go to therapy, just me, right? And it's all about me. If this if this therapist is only gonna is only gonna pitch about what makes me happy, and they're not catering to the the family dome, mm -hmm. you get me? Then they they, they might divorce. drive me to to do divorce. Like, well, you're unhappy, then you should go and stop. You should mm -hmm. pursue something. So I think finding the right therapist with the right values, just just like I, I mean, when I went to go meet her parent, you need to find that person who's I mean, because it's a stranger at the end of the day, and they're going to be influencing your 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 thoughts, yeah. your in the way you change. It needs to be someone who has the same values, uh, you know, as you. And, and at the end of the day, I mean, you need to, yeah, you need to find the right thing. And and, and if, even if it's a couples therapy, it needs to be someone who has the same values, um, you know. That you know they believe in the family foundation. They believe in in, in in working things out. And and then on the on the piece on 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 speaking, something that we could have said sometimes, and and this and I think this happens uh, all the time uh, with any relationship or even even when uh, at work or anything. Sometimes we are where you know we don't take criticism about ourselves with an open mind, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes. You know, she'll say something, and instead of me actually listening, I'm already defensive. Yeah, you get me. Yeah. And then, and then, and 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 and, and sometimes that mediator, that that therapist, is nice. allowing for for her to speak to to the therapist. And, and like then, the traffic and light. How do you feel? It's a about traffic that? light, so for, you can for talk. You, to process wait, wait, what she's you can talk saying. without interruption. Correct. You know, it's creating that referee, and it's like, yeah. wait, wait, let, let let him let him say how he feels. You get me? Because mm -hmm. sometimes we get defensive. You correct. Know? Correct. So Especially I, when you're hearing everything that you're doing wrong. Right, yeah, as exactly. men, like we, we do you have guys that tend ego. To do a lot of things wrong. Oh well, okay. Oh, okay. I love Yvette for the next okay. one. I'll see you, Yvette. Yvette, Yvette slow down. <laughs> slow down. Um, yeah, I mean, we both do do wrong things, wrong right? Wrong. In a relationship, I, I really believe so. Like, um, there's things about me that my wife probably still don't can't stand right now, right? And we, oh shoot, <laughs> like relax, <laughs> you know. And no matter how long you've been with somebody. Um, there are things about them that, you know, you, you, you will have to just deal with, right? You have to just, you know. Yeah, uh, I don't believe in that thing where you, like, I don't want to make him my way. That's right. Mm. Say it again. <laughs> I don't want to make him my way. I don't right. want him to, you know, to create that one. Like, you need to be a certain way to be with me or to for this to work. Just, this is who we are and we're going to try to do our best. Correct. Make it work. And the thing, and, and I, I completely agree with that. I think sometimes we walk into something with and, expectations. And, no, no, no. It's not even that. It's that you, you fall in love with someone, and you're not, you're not, you're not quick to change anybody. You know, you, you, you started. You, you. Why would you change the why person you that you initially fell in love with? Because if mm -hmm. you change him, then it's just like, it's, it's not, it's not them anymore. That's not what right? you wanted. You got me. So, and, and sometimes I think we need to. And that's where the where no bullshit also comes into. It. And I told her from the beginning, I'm like, this is, is this is this who you really like? Is this like because I was I was surprised. You got me like we had an immediate connection. I'm like, is this who you really are? Right. Because I'm like, I'm not even I'm not even fronting. I'm like, this is me. I'm like, this is who I am. I'm, I'm not I'm not playing. You know, sometimes in courtship, you know, we 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 we, we try we we, we right, portray we a per percent persona we, that's to be, not to be that's some not kind of perfect person, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I and I definitely wasn't doing that with her. You got me. I was, you know, this is me. Yeah, and one hundred percent. And you know, if, if this is if this is what if this is you know if what this what you want, into, like like come on, come on, let's you're go. Gonna buy into you know, yeah. then you, you know, let's you know, let's do it together and let's hold hands and and let's, and let's do it. You know? Yeah, no, that that's definitely right. Cause I don't believe in um, people changing people. That's something I, I've never believed in. Um, 
again, I have to go back to the faith base, right? Because I believe that God changes people. There's things about myself, maybe when I was growing up, I didn't like, right? But through prayer and perseverance, like, you know, I asked God for changes and, and he made that happen. But if it's somebody that's telling me, oh, you this, you that, you that, you need to change this and that and that and that, it will never happen, right? Because you cannot change me, just like I'm not changing you. Um, but a lot of people believe that in pursuing a relationship, like you mold the person to the person that you want them to be, right? Ooh. Which tap into what you said, right? Because you approached me because of who I was. You could for a, for a while, but then something happens. Well, then you get that, married that and, you, and, and then you stuck. Right? No, no, no. Let's say if you, if he wants to change me, and I want to like just pretend that I'm changing to this, just, just because I want something at the gonna, end, right? It's gonna, it's gonna get to a point when I'm either not gonna be myself or I'm not gonna take it no more. Or your true self is going to show. So when two people come together and says, you know what? Like I tell my wife all the time, divorce is not on the table. Like you got, we got to do something. Right? <laughs> like we, whatever it is, we got to do it. For me, it's not on the table, but it's not like. Two things. Like, I'm, I'm my own person. Correct, correct. But the voice is not on the table. It's not on the table for both of us. Like, if she said the voice is on the table, then it's on the table. Right? I cannot <laughs> say it's not on the table. And she said it's on the table. Like, we, we, that's confusion. It's not on no. the table. Right. Oh, you better say that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's not on the table. Doesn't mean that we don't talk about it. We talk about it, right? But we don't need to, you know, talk about it by us. Right? So, the Bible says this, right? And I'll take, I, I'll have you guys' perspective on that. The only reason why somebody should divorce the other person is because of infidelity. And the only reason why you should divorce, again, is because you can't forgive that person for the infidelity. Right. You, you see what I mean? So yes. once you cannot forgive, you divorce. But then the Bible goes into deeper things about, you know, like how you cannot get remarried until the person dies yes. and everything else. But not, not even Christians are following that. Not even That's Christians true. are following that. Because they get divorced and they get remarried. We know a few, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> so to say that we follow the Bible to 100% proof, it's a lie because we pick and choose what benefit us. But at the end of the day, we're human too. That's why when you said, I think when you said it was a human problem for divorce, I like it better when you say it's America. Because when you put human, because when I sit down and listen to you guys, I need you guys to come back again because I yeah, love yeah. you guys. Trust me, they'll be back. They're, <laughs> I my, do. they're my neighbors. <laughs> they're <your> neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> but when you guys, when I listen to, and for me as a Christian, I'm here listening to you guys, your stories, how you guys view marriage. And I'm like, there's no different in how I view there marriage. Isn't. Because there isn't. Not, not about, much. Yes. You talk about commitment. And I'm like, yes, that's what we talk about, commitment. Right. And you talk about your foundation and the way you guys see foundation. I'm like, it's similar. Like, we put God into it. And God is Except a loving ours, ours God. Ours is faith-based, right? Yes. And it's like, it's the same thing. Then the way you talk about, of course, I don't want to say the word, the tattoo. So it's like, I'm pretty much sure as a Christian, we have that commitment we have that mindset of we in this together we're not going anywhere so i feel like at times there's people that married and it's just they don't have that mindset of okay we're gonna be in this is okay let's make it work if we work it work if it doesn't work you can go and leave versus you're like i the moment i saw you i love you i want to be with you we're gonna make it work if there's a problem so it's just, that's why i see it i think it's a human problem okay. um so I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna circle back to what i was gonna, trying to say so I think it is what you're saying that it's a uh, cultural uh, in, in essence. And I think if, if what you're saying is true, that um, divorce rate is higher in the U S it is, I would say in my opinion, right. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I think what, um, you know, the, the big issue is, is gender equality. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where we're saying where, where women, where women have power and in different cultures, um, you know, um, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm, I'm Colombian. My mom, my mom is Colombian. Um, the, the biggest difference uh, with Colombian women and, and even women in South America. Right. And I can only speak about about uh, about women in South America because because of you know, that, my upbringing and stuff that, like that. Right. And it's the woman caters to the man at all times. Yeah, okay. yeah, we don't do uh, that. And <laughs> you, you don't do that yeah. in Cuba. No, and, and and ironically, that's what that's what I love about uh, about Yvette. You get me that she has a voice. Ooh. You get me that you get a voice that that she that she's gonna tell me I don't agree with you. 
That's you right. get me? There is going to be some of that, you know, that the combative tension. You get me? Bit, yeah. I want that, and, and I and I obviously I, I I'm going to circle back to my upbringing, right? Seeing seeing uh you know my mom the way she was, and and she was amazing, but I but then also in retrospect when you think about it, she put up uh you know with, with, with a lot much, of things. You yeah. get me? With yeah. too much, and just to say I have a marriage, right. and my family's working. Right. Well, I mean, look, it, it was definitely important, but you know, in hindsight, you're like, man, she, she dealt with so much. You get me? And and her voice was, uh, it was void. Mm-hmm. You get me? Because mm-hmm. you had, uh, you had my father, um, very strong mm-hmm. machista, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, machismo, and it was, it was his way or the highway, and you know, it was very, very, very like, it was in the air. You get me? And that definitely affected me where, you know. You wanted the she, opposite of I what you. I wanted the opposite, yeah. right? So. Um, no, and we have a daughter. Like, for me, like, yeah, I want a girl that's very, very independent. Like, you, you're you going to find a, par- a partner because you want. Because mm-hmm. you have that necessity. And, and like, feeling-wise, you want to, you know, find someone that you. It's not. Nothing else. It's not gonna give you like comfort. It's not gonna give you. You you bring uh, in your own happiness. Yes. Right. And I think that's what happens here, uh, um, in in America, right? So women have that equality, have that voice. I don't need you. Why am I gonna be? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not that. It's not even that. It's it's. So machismo at the end of the day, it has to do with being submissive, mm-hmm. right? Mm. Women in America are not submissive. Mm-hmm. They have a voice, and 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 in fact, more so, it's getting louder. Where it's, I think, uh, I think maybe it's a little bit too much. Where now it's like, uh, you know, what am I allowed to say as a man, you know? And so, um, but like she said in Cuba, she heard divorce, and it's because women in Cuba, they're strong women, and they you have know. And I love women. that, I, and I love that. But right. I think there needs to be that that balance, you know. And I think sometimes, I think in America, it's getting a little bit too much, or it's 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 tipping. We're, we're forgetting about one thing is having a voice and then one thing is forgetting about values completely. Yes. You get me? So which goes back to what we're talking about, about having sex and and, and you saying it's a number. I think it's important to 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 have experience. But there 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 comes a there comes a moment where experience, you know, experience and 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 just going all out crazy. You yeah. know what I mean, I think the the new dating apps. I don't. I I think it's become an addiction. Right. You get me. I I speak to my to my best friend who is an amazing man. He is my brother, and he is in search for something that I know he will never find. Hmm. Because, you get me? because because dating apps have created a menu. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I've created a menu, and Crap. the thing that, is, that's it, a good one. That's a good one. That's you're, you're gonna be on there. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm no. here with this girl dating her, and if she steps away to the bathroom, believe me, I know that he's opening that app and checking to see if he's at swipe another left, connection. Swipe right. You got me. Yeah. So and and so he's he's in this search for this this perfect woman that don't exist, and, and it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. And, exist. And, and 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 he just keeps on repeating that cycle, and I think. Women are also playing into that, right? Because we're 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 all we're you said we're human, right? So we all who doesn't who doesn't like to order from the menu, right? Hey. You know when we go to a restaurant, let me let me get what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, oh look, you know uh, it just has a little bit of spice, <laughs> you know, yeah. and then and then you want, let me try different things, and mm. then and then what happens is that you you end up I think losing who you, you, truly, you truly are, you truly are, and what you actually values. want. Makes sense. Oh, I need you guys to come back. Oh, I need you guys to come <laughs> back. Definitely coming back. But um, oh my God, it's you, so you, much You said a word, um, which I know a lot of people think it's a negative word, right? Submissive, um, submissive to a. Yeah. <laughs> Even it's like <laughs> I'm ready for. It. Yeah, submissive is important to us men, right? It doesn't mean that you give up your right as a woman. It, it really doesn't, right? Because, like, we have an order. We have an order, like, you know, it, it's the man, uh, it's the woman, and we all play a role in this world, right? Um, everything is connected when it comes to the role of a man and a woman, right? And 
Like, for example, let me tell you this. Every time my wife hear a noise in the house, the first thing she does is, Call uh, in. you know, she she calls me like, yo, check it out, right? If we play an equal role, there's no need for you to call on me. You understand? So I need to feel that I am that protector. That's who God created me to be, right? I am that security blanket. And some women don't don't agree with that. And a lot in, uh, in, in America, you know, now, right? I could do for myself. Like, I don't need nobody to do for me. Nobody's telling you that you can't do for yourself. But, you know, there's a role that we play. Uh, there's a video I was watching the other day um, of this young girl uh, who, you know, went on, on the internet about, oh, this man slapped me. And she had a big old swollen, you know, <laughs> cheek. And, and uh, apparently the men picked up a brick and, and, and hit her in the face with it. At first, I'm like, yo, why, homie? Right? And she said there was a lot of men around and they didn't do nothing. How do you guys feel? You guys are men. And, and y'all sitting here and see this man pick up a brick to hit me and y'all didn't do nothing, right? But she claimed herself to be an independent woman, right? So is it those men's responsibility to, to take up to for you if, if you could stand up for yourself? And the, 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 the back end of the story is this man asked her for her number, right? Uh, by the way, I don't know if this is true or not. That's the internet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the the man asked her for her number. She refused to give him her number, right? Which she has the right to. But then she start cursing him out and shaming him and degrading him, you know, in public. So he got upset. And I, I as a man, would not react the way that he did, right? But he did have that reaction. So I really believe women need to to understand their role. It doesn't make you less than. To be All right. Let me drop this bomb on you, right? And I think we said that the other day. The Bible called us men weak. It calls us weak. And the, the Bible called a woman weaker. So we are a weak vessel. The woman is a weaker vessel. So we need each other. Okay, but weak in one sense. No, we are weak. Like, we're not perfect. Like, they're, 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 we have limits. We have limits. Right. What we're, sense? Like temptation, strength. Uh, we have limits. Like it, it, everything comes with it. Everything comes with it. Right. We are not Superman. Those are movies. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're not Batman. We're not super super humans. Like we're not. Right. We are weak. Will you consider your wife weaker than you? She is. She is. In what sense? In all sense. Like. In all like sense. Give an example. Like for example, like my wife is not there physically stronger than me. Okay, I agree. Uh, you could take <laughs> forever. Go She's not physically stronger than me. Okay, and, and the average, feeling wise, huh? Feeling wise, like emotional. her in uh, her emotions. Emotions. She might be stronger than me in, in in her emotions. You know what I mean? Like that 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 does not equate, right? So like where I have is the protective aspect of it, right? And the caring aspect of it. A woman by nature is a caretaker. By nature, that's that's what they do. Us men, we are protectors. I agree and disagree. You could agree to disagree. I, I, I'm okay with that. Right, so when I think about women submitting or not submitting, I think the problem is in America is that um, some of the women or most of them that end up not wanting to submit, I think to us men, we got to take accountability. We sometimes as men abuse that. We abuse that submission because, and then we'll use the Bible, right? Let's keep it real. Like, we use the Bible and say, hey, this is what God said. But at, on the same token, we're not being that kind of man that God called us to be. Mm -hmm. We're not honoring that woman mm -hmm. like Proverbs described as, as, as a woman. Right? Correct, correct. So then you have that part thing right there. And because it takes one bad apple to, to run a whole basket. True. And now if you get one woman that's saying, hey, this is what's happening to me, right? I submit to this man, right? And this is what he did. So now you're going to trigger a lot of other women saying, hey, you know what? So if that good woman, he, she um, submitted to that guy. I don't believe in that. Right? You don't? Because, for example, let's say if um, I like to flirt a lot, let's say, like that. But I'm falling in love, I'm going to stop it. Those behaviors, you can stop it. 
Like you just have to. If really, you don't fall in it. No, no, no. You, you, you just, you just really have to like really want. Will yourself. Yeah. So you can be very independent until you want to, mm. or you can be very submissive until you want to. It's not that you, you, you're meant to, to be oh, that. Like you, you don't have, have roots. Submissive. Okay, I see what you. Yeah, you but don't. I, th- I think he's touching on another point, and, yeah. and I agree with what he's saying. Where um, you she's know, like, and, what? And, 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 <laughs> what? We'll have well, a talk. You know, where, no, 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 we, we have that. Where, this conversation. Where, well, yeah, I mean, look, like I said before, I definitely want her to have a voice. Correct, correct. And and sometimes she'll tell me, I don't want to know your opinion. I'm like, I know, but you know, I'm I, gonna I, tell I, you anyways. I, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you, right? right. I mean, and. So going back to what he said, and, and in fact, we had a conversation about it uh, not too long ago. Um, so one of her friends, you know, um, it basically is going through a divorce, yeah. right? Um, and I think, in, in my opinion, it's the right it's the right path. But now, um, you know, she's jumped on the on the on the single train very quickly, right? Mm. Okay. So I think, in in into in just to add to what you're saying. If if she let's let's say let's say they're extremely close, right? Um, she's seeing this this woman, you know, going out to clubs, this, that, and the other. You get me? She's seeing something, and then she's like, "I can't do that." Yeah. You get me? So the, so what is, it does bring an argument to the house? It's like, "Why can't I do that?" It's because, honey, we're married. We can go do that, but we, we let's go do it together. Correct. You know what I mean? Let's go. So, but. She's seeing, and and that's where that influence, and I think even social media has that that Correct. that, that like same thing. You get me? In fact, in fact, it even plays on. Oh, you agree now? No, I agree. With that. It, I'm, no, I'm agree. glad we. we... <laughs> in fact, it even plays on what you on, on what you're watching, right? So, Correct. you know, if, if yeah, she's, she's feeling gonna, down, yeah, in fact, yeah, yeah, she's like feeling said, down. She's gonna she's be like, single until she wants to. Look what came up. Yes, when she finds her one, she's gonna grab it. Yeah, she's gonna change. She's gonna stop that behavior. In public, it might not, you know seem as if you know she is miserable but behind closed doors like 99 percent of chances be, like she she, she's probably miserable she, right yeah, but because that's what I was how, how long today. can you play a single life right how long can you go to the club and it gets like redundant you know how long can you go out with friends and but that's what you I'm know saying. you enjoy not, drinking fixed, and stuff you're not fixed to do anything you can change the day you don't feel like it well, you can change, and I, I think that's 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 the problem because we 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 act up on our feelings. Feelings comes and go. You can right? change. Right. So know. whatever problem that was in that household, it probably was something that we can work through. Right. Once that wave is over, but you never give it a chance. Right. So that that's the problem. That that's the America problem. Right. We we're not staying and trying to fix things. Because we try to do the next thing. The next thing. Right? The next thing has to be quick. Right? It has to be, like, live. Like, it has to be lit. Right? That's the next thing. Right. Exactly. And it has Tomorrow to do with... Tomorrow, I promise. No, yeah, I know. But it has to do you with what he's with saying. Burdens. You're seeing... No. Yeah. Tomorrow's not promise. I understand that phrase, but I live on the edge as well. But calculate it. Right? So, you have to be... Because at the end of the day, you have a life to live. And you don't have much days to live it. Exactly. So the things that you do matter, they do. right? They not only affect you, but they affect other people. Right. You have a daughter, right? Exactly. So yeah, like I'm going to live and, and do whatever, but how does that affect her life, right? And you might not have a future by doing the things that you do. So I'm okay with living in the edge. I'm okay with tomorrow's never promise. I mean, biblically we see that, right? Because you That's could true. wake up today or you might not wake up today, right? We might get an accident and we're gone. But at the end of the day, you have to do everything you can right now. So it has to be right. You know, right? when when Eva said this, um, that my favorite book in the Bible is Ecclesiastic. Mm-hmm. Because he talked about enjoying life, enjoying every moment. So I used to use, I'm like, okay, I'm going to read this. I'm going to make sure I enjoy life. I'm going to go party. I'm going to go this, this. And then after that, at the end of the chapter, it talks about the consequences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, you have, yes, go enjoy your life. But remember, there's a cause and effect. There's a cause and effect and all that. But I was going to ask a question, Eddie, because you said um, you love when a woman have a voice. And I always said this. I always said, I want a man that allow me to have a voice, but they still in control. So, because like, I feel like at times, sometimes women feel like they don't have a voice. Or if they do have a voice, they need to be in control. Do you think like we should be in control just because we have a voice? Well, what do you mean control? Like, what do you mean? 
So you want your man to be in control of what? When I say, <laughs> right? Like, Come here. So when I say I need my man to be in control, it's just like I feel like as a woman, we make decisions based on emotion, versus the man is more logical on how they would think. So I feel like for us, we might see something, and because of how we feel, we want to make that decision. Yes, I want to have the opinion, be like, okay, um, listen. Husband, I don't like this. I don't think we should go that way. But I'm gonna allow the man to look at it in his perspective because if he is here as a, if he have that leadership role, if he was created with the mindset of being a leader, he knows the right way to go. Okay, but by by your thought, then men should be the first one and not be unfaithful. What you mean? Men should be the first to not be unfaithful. Yes, because she just said men are rational. So if you're rational, you're gonna put thought into your relationship. Crap, Yvette. Ooh. You you're not gonna be emotional. So like, there's no studies that says men are the first to be unfaithful. <laughs> to be unfaithful. Right? right? There's no study that says Nature that. Nature says it. How? Men have more dr- sex driving than women. When we are young, like look, same listen, thing. Same when thing. We you're, are more, young, you're more emotional than right. When a you're woman, young, a woman's yeah. sex drive society does says not that. stop. It keeps going. So Soci- society says that. Says what? Society like points at women that will say that aloud. That if they have more like drive for it, look. If they want, if they want more, we, society, we, we, you, you would like pick at her. We we, it's, look, we could get into this, right? I think we we're, we're gonna be all night <laughs> if we do, right? Because because right? like the thing about men is like we we. You guys are emotional too. Yes, yes, and we are dumb when it comes to this cheating thing. Okay, you will find out one way or another. A woman can cheat on a man, and he'll never find out. But why? Because you guys are because you, you live with are. no because you live with a man. What? Yes. By the man, by the woman being the carrier, yeah. she's taking care of you, so she knows you like you know your kids. Oh shoot! You just Ooh. made sense. <laughs> she, just made, man. she just made sense because you live with a man. Like I had to put husband it together. become handicaps. Crap! Ooh, I like that. That's why she will know as soon as you change because your rhythm change. So what able- what makes it that women are able to keep those things secretive? Because you don't do nothing for your wife. Oh, Ooh. no, I don't, not the nothing Ooh. part. In the sense, like, daily, daily chores, like, fold her clothes, oh. do the laundry. Oh, uh, so it's, yeah, well, to, <laughs> the, to the cheating men. <laughs> <laughs> to the cheating men. Right? That's why. But that's wild. Like, I never heard it that way. And Think it makes about sense. it. For example, how we are is 50-50. In 50, the sense, it's not even, that like, it has to be a sign. Like, you, you live in the house. You, you know see something why needs to be done, you, you, you do, do it. it. You should tell my wife that. <laughs> no, but I, I, think, I think do that same thing. That you know, yeah, you, but you have your thing. Like you were the one. Nah, who we, do ha- the, we the, have the our own thing, yard. right? Right? Yeah, yeah. We you know the rhythm. Thing. You right, you, right. You, you know, you you leaned on strength, right? So Correct. yeah, exactly. You know, I'm doing yard work or or the or the heavy. You but know, you're never so. gonna find out that your wife is cheating on you by doing the long work. You know. But a woman. Oh. So I once she start doing, she she she's never gonna do that. She's just giving out tips. She boy. is. She is. She is. I think. I think you do have a point of like. I mean, I'm not. On, I'm not staying on the aspect of cheating, but uh, how you said, as a woman, we are. A you guys are take, care, caretakers. Like I, I really believe that. Like a but man. When you're doing something that you shouldn't, then we you start right. knowing. We, right, because you know, she's like right. no, it's. I mean, it's not like, I this think. Is not I know she's this right, is right? Normal. Because yeah, at the same time, the Bible says a man that finds a a, a wife finds a good thing in life. Right, there's a reason for that, right? Because you'll find that a man that has not a strong woman, but a good woman behind him, he'll succeed better. He'll succeed. He'll advance, you know, like further in life, because he has a good understanding woman behind him. A woman to me does not have to be strong. She has to be supportive, though. I could deal with that. Like if a woman is strong, you can't help me. Right, because I could be strong for myself, and, and that sense of support. When I say strong, there's woman that wants to take the lead, right? Okay, they, you, they, for they, example, I believe the Latinas, yes. not, not your Colombians, but um, for example, we Cubans, the Cubans have big male energy. Big male energy. Yeah. What does that mean? Okay. So no, big male energy is gonna say like, for example, us Cuban. Cuban guys, they shoot a lot. Mm. So you're going to know how it goes. So that's a culture thing. 
I would say yes, and you're very independent. So by that, you need a like even stronger guy. So is that Sunshine. is that a coping mechanism? Could be because of that. It could be. So that's not a general thing. It could be. Yes and no, because it's it's like it's for example, it's like what you believe in. It's like you kind of know like how your people are. Yeah. So you know how to deal with them. So you're just based on that. Yes. But I I understand, for example, that he's not like that. So but therefore, example, you don't have to be like that. Exactly, but I know it exists. So for me, it's kind of like I don't buy, for example, mm-hmm. happy wife, happy life. I'm like, I don't want a guy like that. I want a guy that is gonna give me something to fight about. He's gonna mm-hmm. tell you no. Yes, and yeah, then I have to like <laughs> and fight. Yes, I like that. I like that. Circling back to the topic of divorce. Do you guys think it's a good idea to get a prenup just in case? Yes, I, I hope my daughter will get a prenup. Elaborate, please. For example, we gonna try our best to do everything for her. Okay. I wouldn't want her walking in a marriage for her to, to give everything. So you're gonna try to have her be established financially? But for herself. For herself. You know, one thing is after the marriage, whatever you guys do together is fine. But I want what we pass on to her. To be hers. To be be hers. And her kids. So let's say she comes in with nothing. She got nothing. So. She have to hustle for herself. Let's say she come into a marriage with nothing. That's fine. So. It's like I say, you got to do your prenup, but after whatever you do in your marriage is fine too. You know, it's not that, that it does not gonna have value at all. But I, like, I know we're gonna do better for her. Right. I think what Yvette's saying is, if you get things, if you acquire wealth together, then that is for that's you. What it is, bo- right? For both it of is you together. But if you're walking in with something, you shouldn't lose that something. Because of because, your, because, because of, it takes of two whatever people. Happens. What if she's all in, but he's right? at the end of the day, he's not. Um, but in, but uh, to Sam's point, um, you know, if a woman makes a man stronger, right, yeah, and able to, it. you know, why why shouldn't uh, someone who's in a relationship walk away with something uh, also? No, 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 I, I, I do agree with that. You do? Yeah, so I'm not disagreeing with y'all. So my point was, like, the prenup, if I come in with wealth, I'm going to prenup. <laughs> right it, yeah. even as a Christian you right you should she you said should. no she said no you don't think there's people that have bad intentions and that just says, if I hey, have if I build up my millions I'm gonna protect it <laughs> and the only way for me to protect it is by like just says premium. there's people who wants to get married by because the status a lot of women get married because the guy have money I know you so but they, I don't they, really know you you so they I mean? want to get divorced and get a chunk of it. Correct. Without doing nothing. It's happening everywhere. If you have a kid, let's say you have a son and you see that, you will be you happy. You want them to have a prenup, I see. You will be happy. Yes, but, as, but as a Christian, if I know he's marrying right. How do you know that? How do you really know I'm people not, inside? Not really about that. My question so is, like, you guys, how do you really know? How do you really know who he is, what he's thinking, what he's feeling? Let's, no. let's just, let's just be, call it, let's call no, it, let's call it emotional blindness, and a prenup is going to protect you. Exactly. Because the thing is, the fact is that who when, when your you're head? in love, everything is roses, right? And if there is malintention, mind you, when you're getting married, you're not thinking about any malintention. No one's going to tell you, no. you know why I'm going to dump you after this. You know, so... Oh, this um, is not how I feel. But, I mean... I, I mean, if you're coming in with something, why not protect it, right? Correct. But I think, correct. but I think that also comes with his, with upbringing and wisdom, right? So if, um, if you come from nothing, you're not going to be thinking about that, right? No, my, par- my, both of my parents were immigrants. They struggled their whole life and they continue to struggle. Has a prenup ever been in my in my thought process? No. Not for me, but for my kid, it is. No. Like uh, I'm going to talk to him. You know, as you, <laughs> as you build, as you, as you, you know, I, you know, I'm. I'm I'm building my wealth, and you're thinking, Shh, you know, I, I put so much work into it, you know, let's protect what's ours, my daughters, you know, and 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 you pay it forward, right? I mean, Correct. you have to you have to you have to guide your kids also. Yeah, not for us as much as the prenup, but at least for Audrey, I would like talk to her about it. 
I, no, I totally understand it because, like, we want to be better off than our parents were. Exactly. Right? And if, if we're going to do this, it's not just for our enjoyment. Yeah, we want to retire well, but we want the, the day, next gonna... generation, right? Like, it's called generational wealth. Yeah, you want to stay your shoulder and your your kids on top of your children. Correct, correct. So, like, no, I, I agree with it. Like, if you build, then, yeah, print up it. Yeah, um, I believe, I believe, um, in a way, the great thing about, uh, you know, it's like, when it comes with marriages and um, a lot of relationships, we really do not know. I feel like when it comes to relationships, it's more so the faith thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, none of us here can read minds at all. None of us doesn't know who you, you really are. Exactly. That you're gonna None of us really knows that. Of course, through time, as I get to know you, and as through time and experience with you, I can that that mindset of you're gonna divorce me, whatever, can lessen. Yes, you can because of how you've been portraying yourself to be like. But at the end of the day, it will never be a hundred percent. No. Like you don't really know a person. You really, it's, it's a faith thing. Correct. I mean, correct. The thing, it's like it's just like how like when the Bible says. Uh, 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 you know, a husband should love him right just like Jesus loved the church. Literally, us having a faith in Christ is faith. It's faith. Literally, faith is believing in something, something that you don't know. See. Yes. I do not see in 10 years. Yes. But I have faith that in 10 years, we'll be together. Here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. that's not true. So, exactly. so for me, the it's prenup is not, not something that's going to define your marriage. Right. At the end of the day, you have feelings. It just, it's just something that is that's for you to fall for if you fall. See, I didn't think about it like that for my kids, but I, I thought about it with, like for my marriage. Like everything that me and my wife have, pay, we, our we parents don't together. talk about it because our parents yeah, don't talk together, about it, right? So I, I'm not like prenup. Like I'm not even thinking about that. Like, but for you, what? do your parents talk to talk to you about it? About what? Prenups? No. Uh, my parents are Haitians. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they don't exactly. talk about nothing. That's what I'm saying. But now they don't talk have, about nothing. But now right? you're gonna have your kids in America. So um, yes, what? like I will, I will definitely have that conversation with my kids. I just never thought about like telling them about the prenup thing. But now that you said it, it makes sense. Like, yeah, why not have that conversation with them? It's not kids. It's not if a, you are watching, like, if you have a wealth, <laughs> get a prenup. <laughs> it's the, like if you're if you discuss prenup, it's like I'm encouraging. Divorce. 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 Because why not? Not blockage is not necessarily that. Because it, yeah. it's, it's something that happens before you getting married. And the worst thing is, like, not How the worst you... thing. The good thing is, it's something that can always be removed. Yes. You, you know what I mean? Unless you fooled me for 15 years. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it can be removed. No, and So you guys keep on throwing out uh, divorce is not on the table. And you know what? When you guys keep on saying that, I'm thinking, no bullshit. You get me? Because yeah. the thing is, you guys are saying it like if it's vows, right? Right. But we can't we can't be blind to the fact that if you are saying that divorce is not on the table, it, right? It is. And it is on the table for that other person. You will get tired of giving, because yes. the thing is that you will yeah. eventually yeah. die inside. Correct. Okay, and you will submit to divorce, to divorce because the thing is that the second you come to the realization that it's too this no person <laughs> that you are giving so much to has completely neglected you, you will wither away. And and to be honest with you, at the end of the day, you're going to choose to save yourself because the thing is that you need to, you, at the end of the day, that's where you need to, that, I think, you and need to love you yourself love. Exactly, you want to be loved love. and yeah. you want to be you loved. I, mean? well, so, I, I hope you love yourself prior to marriage. Like, oh, don't yeah, try to do it in marriage. Most definitely. Most right? Because that, that's where people get lost, right? Like, that's where they, 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 correct. They, it's important. They, 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 it's important. Look, it's important. It's very critical. Yes. Where I can know who you are. I right. Can, I can see what your values are. Correct. I can see, okay, if you're in this situation, how do you how react? Do you react or what are your thought processes? what your thought process is. So I think that's the very critical stage. Don't just rush into it. I'm not saying anything. But don't rush into it. But like, you know, take your time and see how the person is. Look at the family. See how Dynamic. they function. Their viewpoints and Right, yeah. right. So, uh, well, tonight we discussed a lot. A lot. Right. I want them um, back again. I want Yvette. So, yes. <laughs> so, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for answering the call. You know what I mean? I literally asked them yesterday and they said yes. Ooh, you know I thought I mean? you kidnapped them because they didn't. Never- <laughs> <laughs> so, I appreciate you guys. And once again, tonight, 
Uh, we tapped into relationship, marriage, uh, divorce, dating, uh, uh, dating courtship. and courtship, and a little bit about submissive. Yes, you're right. Well, like we, we're gonna we're gonna discuss these and th- these things in depth. But uh, I liked what we did tonight, and again, thank you to both of you guys. You know, for being yes. here, Yvette and Eddie. Um, we hope to have you guys back. Sure thing. I hope you guys are not spooked. No. You know, <laughs> we love it. I, I, think, I think I think we've discovered you know we discovered uh, you know some things also because and so you said we we get to see how uh, you know that we we think alike yeah, um, right but there's also differences differences yeah you know so um, definitely uh, look forward to coming back uh, being invited let's yes. go you definitely invited so whenever definitely. you want to come back just let us know we just need right? to get babysitter well <laughs> you got that just just drop drop them off drop them off. <laughs> You know, so uh, thank you again. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap, 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 tap in. in. Let's go. <laughs>